Antes de comenzar el video, me gustaría recomendarles la página de aoea.com, donde podrán encontrar gemas al mejor precio. Pero no solamente eso, sino con mi cupón podrán obtener un 3% de descuento. Así que el link se los dejo en la descripción para poder comprar de forma fácil y segura. Hachiman can switch between mid and dual lanes. They have a lot of flexing to do in Armanda, but I feel like this Kukulkan is gonna struggle a bit. Like I feel like Susano and Tyr and Xing Tian can sit on Kukulkan and they don't have that much peel for him either in Armanda. So I feel like this Kukulkan should struggle, but we'll see. We will certainly take a look. Game number one, land implications. Let's jump down to the field. X, Tom and Zeros, Finch and Aggro here this time. As we move into Armada versus Sanguine, hype unit. We need to lead heavier in a pen, no mace start means that Mass might be rushing the Transcendence though, not that penetration. That would certainly make a pretty big difference for his damage output onto the tankier targets. Oh, this might be a counter collapse here from Sanguine though. Mast doesn't look like he has the read on an airstrike for damage earlier, but I don't know if Metroid can come back down. Now he can, the Fatal Strike's over, but instead they'll switch targets over to Venium and Panatom finds first blood for Sanguine on the Susano. Where whoever player they think has a really good matchup, they do a very good job of, of facilitating for that player. But this is that combo you mentioned earlier, pretty much foolproof. And it's gonna happen every single time if you don't have the mid lane, then you right. do it ADC. But if I'm playing ADC, then yeah, I think it's fine. Yarkor just got baited into using that Lawbringer ultimate. Now he's a sitting duck for the CC chain. The stun coming out from Basket into the fatal strike from Mast. Won't see a more tech. You know that Mask is on your side of the map. Agreed. So that's the only world where he gets punished for it. But also, as you said, there's no world where it pans out as Panatom gets caught making the sin of being. And we just saw last game how little the early game ended up mattering in that set. They both teams played very, very patiently, and it came down to late game a lot. I wonder if we'll see that same thing materialize here in another game with huge land implications. Yarkor in some trouble yet again. They have clearly made this tier a target. And Gino's been ep He's been right there. This is a perfect start for Armada. Get Basket ahead, get Gino ahead. <laughs> nice shots there from Netroid to really punish Vedium. Great mount archery though, but it's still not enough. You're right, Panaton had too much damage on this Susan Factor. Meerkat's caught underneath the tower. He actually has to beat Rongyu's Blink Ultimate just in case, because he doesn't know where everybody is. And that's it, that's an excellent goal here. But this is where things get back out of control. Yarkor was out, man, over here in the solo lane. To come back in and still get hit by this gank from Mass, that's brutal. As Vedium just kind of standing around. We're not so, so sure if everything's... Yeah, that's what it looked like to me, too. And he'll pay for that here with Panatom coming in. So I would expect for Armada to probably take a moment here soon. Looks like Netroid is willing to let Vedium... I mean, Netroid has such a big lead. He can't really push it much more than he already has. Panatom goes right past him. This is that mind game you mentioned earlier. He blinks in. Meerkat has no choice but to insta-ult. Panatom avoids it. That's an easy kill. And a great job from Gino using the last breath to avoid a couple games like that yourself as yeah. Baskin, the only one that can come defend the Pyromancer. But Netroid gets left in the middle. Somehow he's the one isolated. Gets the airstrike off though anyway. And now it's a bait. All of a sudden Armada are the ones in the trap. At the very least, Gino gets back there and makes him pay for it. But a two for one for Sanguine at what should have been a Disaster. Man, now Panatom's gonna find Gino. He's gonna be able to chase him down. Maybe not get the kill, because Gino's awfully tanky, but certainly buy enough time for Sanguine to get this Pyromancer. And I was highlighting earlier, it might just be Shinto versus Baskin. How about the damage Shinto just put out on a Baskin? He was 70% HP. When he's Mast blinks in to try and get a fight started on Denetroid. Basket takes to the sky, trying to track him. That closed the gap. A wall right there to follow up. And the combo that's going to work for them all game long. Meerkat with the ultimate cleans up the kill. But that was five ultimates. It's Baskin looking for a target. Doesn't have a great one. Wow, Dark Core is the pick. And the team confident they'll be able to do enough damage to burn him quickly. Yeah. And they were correct. In comes Meerkat's ultimate. Creates chaos just about everywhere. But Gino can't make it out of there. Neither can Vedium. Netroy makes it to the sky with the airstrike. So Shinto gets one more on the Meerkat as well. But Baskin has the read. Gets the Aegis out from Netroid. The knock there. But Baskin's immune. He just needs to get in range for one more auto. Where's the peel, ladies and gentlemen? Netroid ends up falling is, eventually. That is so sick. Basket, <laughs> if he kills Panatom 2 here, that is something else, man. That is crazy that he finds Netroid. And, and he's, he's out, out man. Yeah, he's gone. They can't kill him. That is up. Chrono Spin, it feels really good when you have it, but I don't know. I think that I've always been a fan at, at the competitive level of just 
making the most out of my buttons right away. Well, Baskin didn't teleport to the up. hammer. What happened there? He knocked him up. Shinto transformed into Arcane Stands and had the mini knock up. Wow. When I would have been looking around confused, it's Fire Giant now started up for Sanguine, and they will not have Baskin and Thor to defend. And it looks like they're just making the call to give it up. They're going to look for Geno, trap him in the Whirlwind of Rage, and steal two kills. I don't know. Sanguine could have stayed on the FG there, but maybe they'll get it anyway. They need to make sure the Meerkat's ultimate is not in range, and Panatom's on it. Panatom forces Meerkat into the Aegis. This time, though, Panatom does get caught by the ultimate. Panatom still clinging to life with the back in oh. your core controls. Two members. You draw it up that way, but it never happens like that. That is perfect, man. Sang would get the fire giant. And what do you know? It's Shinto versus Baskin. Shinto makes a play. One shot. Bask the roster looks like what they're humming. Baskin, though, not trying to give up this mid Phoenix or right Phoenix just yet. He comes right into the fray, but Yarkor's there for the CC chain. The Xing Chen wants to keep it going, and Yarkor gets the kill credit, and they take the right side. Phoenix, Sanguine, trying to punch their ticket here to the land. They only need one win. They're right on the edge. Now that they beat that ultimate out, they're ready to come right back in. You can tell the communication is so good for Sanguine. Yep. That's another ultimate use or, or presence use without purification beads for Panaton. Yarkor threatening the mid Phoenix again. Mass is not here for the fight. So it's really a 4v3. Wrong Yu starting to melt though underneath all that damage from the tornadoes. Nice fight for Gino. And left Phoenix still has not come down. Panatom is going to be able to pick up Vedium. And Meerkat, it won't get him, but Baskin's wall will. Vedium gets the kill credit. And boy, is that a gift from the Smite game programming guy. They felt good about that fight, but they got to fully disengage here. Baskin in some trouble. Yarkor wanted that one. Mass comes to the back line where there's two, but has to use Fatal Strike defensively. They lock down Yarkor, but the ultimate from Meerkat off the market. Netroid gets the kill in the mass. Yarkor immunes the CC with his own ultimate. They're still fighting. And Netroid wraps around the back. Meerkat what? does finally get one. Netroid didn't get dotted, but Shinto did, but the Aegis buys him so much time. And he cleans up Gino with ease. Wow, man. Sanguine are here, Ben. Sanguine's health bars are low. I don't know if they're going to make an in push here, but they would certainly Whoa. collapse on Vedium, who just used his ultimate. He's in dead. Dash. He's gone. No way. That's well, a that side. I mean, I don't know that he can defend anyways. He tries to take his best 1v1, but relics were still up for Netrioid. He's never winning that through an Aegis. Sure. Well, whether or not he could defend it, this has been a game to forget for Vedium. Sanguine, by grabbing this game, they will be at least one of your... Selected here in tandem. Sanguine are going to bring that one to the bank. You've got Panaton playing on the Thor, Hardcore on the King Arthur. Hardcore had a lackluster game number one. I don't expect that for him in game number two. No, nah, he's on a lot. Uh, I mean, Tyr is really strong laning character too, but like King Arthur, obviously better, I think. Jarkor looked kind not like super confident on uh, Tyr either. He started a Mage Blessing, which is fine in some scenarios, I think, but like he got kind of punished in that lane. Uh, maybe if he had a worse blessing, it would have looked better, but like didn't have a huge impact in the early mid game last game. We'll see if that's the case. Sanguine looking for the 2 0. We'll see if it comes their way. John Agro, bring us the business. Sanguine looking for the 2 0, but it feels like it's Armada with everything to lose here in this game. They need at least one win to keep their hopes alive tied at this point. Only two I'm not saying I've said it, but I've heard the term wagon. Uh, about about you? Yeah. I'd like to express that I am uncomfortable now, <laughs> and hopefully that's understood. <laughs> As Netroid also uncomfortable, fear in the evil on the left hand side. First blood for Mast. That's huge to get Mask off to a little surprise. Is a little. It's not so much Hun Bats so far. Sure. Because this is really good. Yeah, Yarkor in some trouble. It looks like Defender of Olymp is going to be here too to taunt Yarkor back in, but he's still standing throughout all of this, able to buy himself a little bit of time. But the rest of Armada are waiting for him when he lands and. Even through all of that, Yarkor still standing. And now it's Sanguine looking for a fight here on the left hand side. Panatom gets mashed. They find the wall still in the Baskin. Shinto gets a kill of his own. It's a disaster here. A four man toss, not bad, Gino, but that's not going to help much. Wrong, you pops the ultimate, but Gino's got blink. Steps up aggressive. Meerkat had the beads though ready, and Panatom can't find the kill. That was so much damage though from Panatom's spin, man. I mean, that is a ton. Oh, Meerkat a stun. is here, Mask rather, and he's able to get Shinto. Vedium gets another one. That is the best thing that could have happened right there for Armada. A little bit of an overextension to try and kill Meerkat. Done. Panatom wanted to rotate in and set up a wall hammer combo, and it kept being right there for them, and I, and I think they just got a little bit too baited. Mask wow, here again. again. <laughs> Let's try it one more time. No ultimate this time for Yarkor. Execute, never gonna land because he's got triple glad shield procs. Jump it over. Okay, Mask almost died, by the way, but we feel good about where we ended up there. We got there.
a fine. But Netrioid knows he's fairly safe at all times. It's very difficult for him to get chased by Vettium. And if he ever ults, then you just end up using your own. The Arcor starts that off with the stun. In comes the damage from Meerkat. And that should add a lot, but somehow even still, Yarkor hasn't taken much! Ooh. But Baskin lands the perfect execute, and Yarkor drops for a second in a row. Running for the hills, spreading like cockroaches. Though Shinto might have committed a bit much to get that red buff invade, he has to use the changeling to get away. And that's fine. I mean, Amada probably still happy with this. Shinto does get the ultimate off, but it's not great. In fact, he takes a bunch of damage for it. Yeah, he's in a lot of trouble. Aegis lets him reposition, but he ends up dying to mask anyway. Meerkat's low, but Flicker gets him out of there. Netroid just Run needs back. one, but the Aegis buys him time. Yarkor there. Yarkor finds a double as he gets Meerkat as well. That's huge that they're able to find two kick picks under the carries, and now there's just not enough damage. Panatom low, but not enough to finish him off. In fact, he's going to be out of there, but Mask won't be quite as lucky. Netrioid finds his first. Man, Yarkor comes over and saves that one. He's not done just yet. Chasing Baskin and Gino underneath the tier two. These are tanks, so he's not going to do a ton of damage to them. And the rest of Sanguine aren't finding much on the back end. But Yarkor pulled that from the depths. And I, I don't... He makes it back out of there. And now Meerkat's overextended. I mean, he's got Flicker, but he's still in trouble here. Yeah, Yarkor gonna be the one that hunts him down. Panatom took to the sky as well, and dunks right on him. And then another one Holy. from Shinto, Panatom finds a triple kill as suddenly Sanguine had turned out the lights on Armada. That was insane, man. Dunk Squad coming in. Looking like Anthony Davis and LeBron James back to back. <laughs> Tough to stop that, man. That is, in, that is just crazy damage in CC. Yeah, and like the Western Conference, Armada now sh starting to shrink into the corner out of fear of what's to come. Sanguine now being able to take the Tier 2 tower as well, and truly the map is theirs. Wherever they want to go, they can go. Baskin doing what he can. Feels like Sanguine's just kind of ignoring him. Trouble does have to use both relics, and that allows him to disengage. But Sanguine not too concerned with the Fury. They're happy to take the fight. I think that's Panatop took to the sky, and yep, he comes right to the back for Meerkat. No, that was Shinto. He turned into the Thor. Now he's going to have to try and get out. Execute, not wow. there. Now turns into the Thor, but Wait. can't get up. Mask is able to get him down. Dude, if I'm confused about it, I got to imagine Armada are about where all these Thors are. Sanguine do get the Oni Fury. They end up losing Shinto, but they get Meerkat as well. Yarkor still battling it out up against three, but he'll die here eventually. Vedium gets his second one. Baskin is able to keep this chase going. Defender of Olympus has plenty of damage on a Panatom, right. and Baskin still full HP is brawling. All right, this is huge now for Armada. It's been all sanguine for this last exchange, but Armada ready nice. to come in and find a couple kills of their own. That's four, and they only have to give up. Pretty sure, and he can do so with that into darkness once Baskin's in the pit. That's what happened. All right, so now Fire Giant has been reset. Mask comes back in to help. Wrong you drops the ultimate, but he's been controlled. In execute threshold, his still potential is nothing. Armada grab the Fire Giant here at this point and get the kill. And now did get the, the tier two and left. Netrioid too early on the beads. Gino has blink, so he's dead. Yep. It's just a matter of when. Vedium does use the ultimate, and he's got to get over here. And he will. Okay, he actually went towards Shinto in mid. And didn't end up actually using any relics. Meerkat, on the other hand, does not have a global ultimate, and as a result, will die. Shinto transforms into the Thor to settle things. So that was Baskin. I think that kind of disrupted. Hey, get something mid, pick up a red buff. I mean, that, that was better, I think, from Sanguine overall. I think so too. Not bad. Shinto tries to go aggressive. He's going to go right to the back and get a stone to mass. Can't quite find Meerkat, who I think hurt it and flickered, but Meerkat flickered into danger. Panatom gets the kill. Netroid finds Vedium, and Mast has already used the Fear No Evil, so Shinto goes right into the Changeling Ultimate. And he should get a hit on where Mast is. Yep. Lands on it for another kill. That's three. Sanguine might be ready to put Armada to bed. This might be game right here, yeah. Finch. I mean, only some frontline left standing, and doesn't look like G will be among the living for long, a four for zero. Wow. And I don't know what happened to Meerkat when he flickered in, but he did not last. And somehow that ends up in his death on the back end and Unlucky. very much the game. It's all up to Baskin. There's no one you'd rather have to try and keep your hopes alive to defend the Titan up against five members, but it's too tall a task. Sanguine come in in 2-0 Armada to bring a hype unit to land? No world championship, best players of the, that you could ever have in the Smite Championship world. No Baskin, yep. no Mask, no Gino, no Vedium, no Meerkat. That's hard to believe, isn't it? But Sanguine Season over. come 